hello friends in this video we are going to be looking at how we can match skin tone in adobe photoshop this is twisted creative i'll be my name my name it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video without wasting much time let's get into it this is the model we are going to be using if you take a look at the image you can notice that the color of the face is different from that of the body so in order for us to match the body color with that of the face we'll go to the adjustment layer and choose gradient map so you click on this gradient box here and you open this basic and select the first one then hit ok then for the method here you click on this box to select classic then you notice that we have a brighter negative stuff here then you have to go to blend mode and change it to color after changing the blend mode you click on the layer max and use your ctrl i to invert the layer max okay make sure this adjustment layer is selected not layer max then click on this box again to bring out the gradient editor so we have just two sliders here which is black and white we have to create another one at the middle to make it three we have to change the location of the slider to 50%. So we have to type in 50 here. So this is going to be for shadows, and this is going to be for mid-tones, and this is going to be for highlights. So we have to start by the shadow. Click on the shadow and zoom in to the face and check the area that suits or that will match your shadows. Let's say, let this area be the shadows. Then we'll click on this for the mid-tone. Before you ever start clicking, make sure you have this, your eyedropper tool. Once your eyedropper tool is selected, make sure it's not on point sample. Because it can also sample noise or sample some black dots there. 3x3 three three is still okay, but 5x5 five five is the best. So we've selected the shadow. Now we are going to select the mid-tone. The mid-tone should be somewhere... I think somewhere here should be okay then the next one should be the highlights then the highlights should be somewhere here I think it should be okay like this but if it's not okay you can always adjust it later so let's go and see what this is going to give us let's hit okay for this so we have to make sure the layer max is selected pick our brush tool make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush when necessary. So as you can see, like, it's like we're having a wrong color, but let's finish, let's finish painting. So you have to be precise when it comes to the edges. So you can increase your brush and continue painting. Reduce your brush for the edges and make sure you select it very well. You have to be accurate. So we have to reduce the brush more to select these edges. I can use my Ctrl Z. And you can also use your X to toggle between your foreground and your background to wipe those areas that you make mistake. So 
So we have to spread our colors around the area they are needed. So now we finish making the selection, we have to go back to adjust the color. Click on the gradient map adjustment layer and click on this box again to bring out the gradient editor. We are having problem with the mid-tone. Select the mid-tone and sample again. You can sample here. As you can see, the saturation is changing. Then you can go here. Um, as you can see, this is it's like a perfect place for this. It's a perfect place for this. So you can see how to match the skin. It's very, very easy. So we can hit OK. It's OK now. We can hit OK. So if you take a look at the image, you notice that the highlights are being crushed by the colors. So we have to double click on the adjustment layer to bring out the layer style boss. We have to push the white slider of the underlying layer backward to create, to separate those highlights from the colors. So at least it's okay like this. Then we have to hold our odds and click on the angle to split it apart. Then we we'll drag it forward to create a smoother transition. Now our highlight is back. Let's hit OK. So we have to see the before and after. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. So we have to see the before and after. This is before. This is after. This is before and this is after. As simple as it can be. Isn't that amazing? If you find it interesting, helpful and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Creative Pool, keep on creating. Keep creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now.